the $50 barrel, what challenges and opportunities does it give to the oil gas industry? Traditionally, the oil gas industry reacts to falls in the oil price by cutting their costs, only to find them increasing again as the price of oil increases. Now this cycle has to stop. We need to make permanent changes to the way we do business, permanent changes that reduce the cost by 50% or more. We can illustrate the kind of benefits that these initiatives bring by a number of case histories which show how this disruptive technology has already had major beneficial effects for our industry. Piping and vessels are the lifeblood of production assets. Traditionally, industry assures pressure system integrity using risk-based methods. But is it risk-based enough? We believe that scopes and costs can be reduced by 50% or more by using statistical analysis. So Analyze Big Data RBI is about reducing the number of thickness measurements that we take when we go offshore and cut operator costs by about 50%. We do this by using different statistical analysis methods on the data we do take and these will give us a picture of how the system is behaving and we can infer and calculate different properties from these uh, analysis methods. The analyzed system is very effective at inspecting for internal corrosion but over 95% of the damage is external and often hidden by insulation. Now fortunately we have innovative methods that can reduce the cost of that type of inspection by over 50%. The inspection of that pressure system can be done in three distinct phases. Firstly, scanning the pressure system it can be done using real-time radiography. You're not building scaffolds, you're not removing insulation, you're not having to put the insulation back on and then remove the scaffolds. All time saved, all money saved. Moving on from the scanning, if you find a fault or something you want to look at, you can bring digital radiography into play and you can investigate again without removing that insulation. If there's a real problem and you do need to take action, we have a tool called Backscatter Computed Tomography, which we can monitor the fault. Backscatter Computed Tomography can also be used very successfully for inspecting vessel walls so you're not taking your pressure vessel out of service so again keeping it in service not removing insulation taking up POB not scaffolding saving time and money. There are a number of industry initiatives that are helping push forward these disruptive changes for example the HITS JIP. HITS being the hull inspection, techniques and strategies JIP. Their focus is on improved methods of hull inspection, both below the waterline and indeed the tanks themselves. This is a no man camera here. This is what Ian and I have developed in order to avoid confined space entry. This allows us to be able to carry out tank inspections remotely and safely without having to put people into the tank. It's allowed tanks to be inspected much more efficiently and safely. We have proven 90% man hour savings. So no man laser can be inserted remotely into a tank and it can be used to identify any structural distortions and it can be also be used for thickness gauging of structures inside the tank. Erden valve inspection is the inspection of critical sea valves. That's the suction lines and the discharge lines that are part of the, the UWALT scope. They are inspected internally uh, whilst they're in operation, under pressure uh, and in service. The specialised repair Yim and I do with the valve isolation and valve repairs is we drill into the spool piece, we install a bladder into the spool. Once we get positive pressure, we can then remove the valve, carry out any repairs that need to happen. We can then replace the valve whilst the vessel is on station. Before the non-intrusive EX surveys, EX ready equipment was inspected by either visual inspection, which was not as reliable and efficient as the non-intrusive VX surveys, 
or uh, the equipment had to be taken offline, causing downtime and uh, money loss. This is Loris. This is what we're working on at the moment uh, for moving chain measurement. It will clump onto the chain and it will use hydraulics to crawl along the chain. Within the system, uh, it will have three different pieces of apparatus. One is it will clean the chain. Two, it will photograph the chain and do photogrammetry. And three, it will laser measure the chain. Hullguard is a retractable, retrofittable ICCP system, uh, impressed current cathodic protection system. It can be installed while the asset is in the shipyard or while it's basically in operations at the same time. In summary, we cannot afford to use the same old methods. We have to invest in new technology that will bring step change improvements to safety and to the cost of doing business. Thank you.